welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will be sharing with you guys my hair care routine I completely forgot to share my best of beauty 2017 for hair products um, but this was a highly requested video from you guys because if you watch Joan Day or even my main channel you probably noticed that my hair color changes quite frequently so in the comments I received so many questions on whether my hair was healthy and how I maintain it and asking like which products I use so I thought this was the perfect video to do I did film the hair Q&A with James a while back so I'll link that up there and he basically said that it's okay to dye your hair as many times as you want as long as you take good care of it and he recommended some really great products and those will be popping out here and there in this video but yes I do dye my hair quite often I think once a month really um, but I don't bleach it because I've bleached it a while back the last time I bleached it was with James and I think up till then I bleached it seven to eight times but every time Captain feels my hair uh, and friends feel my hair they always compliment about like the health of my hair and how soft it is so today I'll be revealing those products to you all and first we have shampoo this is the Fanola Fiber Fix Shampoo and this is basically like the toner of skincare. Skincare is really important but also remember that taking care of the health of your hair is just as important. This is ideal for people who have colored and damaged hair. Um, it really helps fix the breakage and I'm so impressed by how soft my hair feels even though um, I bleached it so many times and throughout time my hair just naturally starts feeling this way so I started using a different shampoo back and forth because this one is really expensive and this one right here was a gift from Captain and this is the Desis No Due Willow Lux Shampoo. This is Captain's favorite Japanese hair care brand and he really wanted me to try it and I just really like the way it smells. I couldn't really tell if it transformed my hair or not because this I immediately felt a difference like when my hair dried but this one I mean I'm just trying to finish it because I did receive it as a gift and yeah it smells great. For treatment I used to use the vanilla one but because it's tinted pink I've been using these three products right here, not all together, um, usually it's between these two and this product right here. So right here we have Olaplex. This is a very popular brand for people who have bleached and damaged hair. It really helps with the breakage and it just makes your hair feel super soft and it smells amazing. So Olaplex, you probably have seen so many reviews on YouTube and blog posts and I'm super glad that I finally got to try this product out because it just works hand in hand with the Fanola Fiber Fix um, shampoo that I just mentioned. Um, they're just like the perfect duo and thanks James for the recommendation. But of course I have an alternative that I've been going back and forth with because Olaplex is expensive and this one right here is a Vita Damage Remedy Intensive Restructuring Treatment and I actually received this as a gift from a Coserac staff, Chimin, thank you so much for this. And she basically watched my videos and noticed that I was getting my hair dyed so frequently and she was worried about the health of my hair and I received it and I've been using it basically with these treatments you just leave it in your hair for 5 to 10 minutes and then wash it off later uh, kind of like the Fanola Fiber Fix shampoo you can leave this on for 2 minutes and it'll work better but leaving these products in instead of quickly washing it off the product will continue to work on your hair for the 5, 10 20 minutes that you leave it on for and your hair will repair so I highly want to recommend these two hair treatments and for the scalp I actually use a different product I only use these treatments for the bottom but for the scalp I've been using the Lil Hassel Brave for scalp nourishing hair treatment it's actually really important for your scalp to be healthy because that's where new hair grows and also it's connected to your face so that's also gonna affect your skin so if you've been breaking out like make sure your scalp is cool and healthy as well so this product helps prevent 
scalp hair loss and it also says on the bottle that it helps provides a smooth shiny hair with enhanced hair thickness I haven't been using it too long so I'm not sure if my hair is growing thicker than before but I mean overall I've been using it for the scalp and it's been pretty good I don't have dry scalps anymore so that's a good sign after showering I follow up with the Lee's hairspray um, Everything is in Japanese, so I'm not sure what this says. When I went to Japan, I just picked it up because I love how light my hair feels afterwards. So usually I just like to spray it on near the scalp area and my hair will just feel really light. And yeah, I just really like this product and not really sure how else to describe it because I'm not really sure what this functions as but I think this also works as a heat protectant because according to this picture right here people use it right before they blow dry their hair but actually I use a separate heat protectant which I will be sharing with you guys later but yes I like to first start off with this Lee's hairspray and then I follow up with these two products so this right here is the Bumble and Bumble surf spray this is a very popular product that gives your hair a beachy texture and I didn't realize how much I needed this product until I like went to the beach I was swimming in the ocean water and right after that my hair dried and it just felt so so smooth and soft because of the salty seawater and this is a great way to achieve that beachy texture without having to go to the beach every day so I've been using this on damp hair you can also use it on dry hair and then I also follow up with the whey hair oil this is my favorite product because it smells so so good and um, it just makes my hair looking nice and shiny to brush my hair I've been using the eye candy hairbrush the rainbow one that I got from Olive Young I talked about this before in a previous hair video but this is my go-to hairbrush because it's small fun colorful and most importantly it brushes my hair and makes it looking really really soft also there's a mirror on the back so I actually see a lot of Korean women carrying this around with them in their purse to kind of fix up their hair throughout the day and use it as a mirror to apply their makeup so definitely a cool product for hair tools I have two right here and we'll start with this one and this is the Unix Ion Essential Care it's a hair dryer and I really like this because it folds and it's nice and small I got this at Olive Young because it was on sale and Coco actually got really mad because she told me that this damages your hair but luckily I do use heat protectant so I haven't had the problem with that but this is the current hair dryer that I use and the first hair dryer that I ever bought because I usually like to air dry my hair but because it's super cold outside whenever I take showers in the morning it usually takes a long time to dry and also when you walk out with wet hair my hair turned into like little like hair icicles and people told me to be careful because first off you can catch a cold and like Sunny actually tweeted me back saying sometimes it could break so I definitely didn't want that so I went to Olive Young pick up a hair dryer that was on sale and it's been pretty life-changing and for the hair straightener that I've been using this is the Brilliance New York I have talked about this in pretty much all of my hair styling and care video I have been loyal to this guy for half a decade I think I've been using it since college I really like the quality of the straightener and it does fry my hair like the cheaper ones that I have tried uh, sometimes I forget to use heat protectants and it doesn't damage it so that's why I really am loyal to the brilliance New York I also have their curler and for heat protectant I have these two right here so this is the bumble and bumble BB hairdressers invisible oil and this is a primer for your hair but also it works as a UV protector and then this is the lucidal essence water this contains hyaluronic acid which made me realize that yes if it's good for the skin it's probably good for the hair that's why some skincare products you can actually use it on the hair but I just like never really did that but I should try it anyway if you want a lightweight non-sticky hairspray I recommend you give this one a go and if you don't mind it check out the bumble and bumble this is a lot expensive I think this was like around 30 bucks and this was under ten dollars so I'm definitely gonna pick up more of these when I go back to Japan um, but yeah 
both great heat protectants and use a heat protectant before using a hot tool because you want to protect your hair. My go-to hairstyle has been straightening my hair inwards so it kind of gives like a curl on the ends. I just really like the way it looks and it's very quick. And finally, we have dry shampoo. And if you don't wash your hair every single day and you want to control the oil, I recommend you use a dry shampoo. And I have two right here, and this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Preta Powder. And this is a powder dry shampoo, which is probably my favorite. But on days when I'm really lazy and I don't want to squeeze it and balance everything out, I just go with the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. Uh, this is a perfume that I use right here. So I had to pick this up to match my perfume, um, but yeah, this is definitely a lot easier to carry around with me in my purse as well because, I don't know, doing the powder in public versus a spray, I feel like this is a lot much easier and it won't like get everywhere. Alright, so that's it for my hair care routine. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are curious and interested in any of the products that I have mentioned today, check the description box because links will be down below and also leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite go-to holy grail hair care product is because I would like to try some new ones. Alright, so that's it for today and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!